See our regional centres fall prey to the advance of developers who seemed more interested in profit than the well-being of our communities at times, and so are pleased that the mechanisms provided for in this bill will help protect these areas. While this bill was introduced to resolve planning issues around the Macedon region, the provisions of the bill can be applied to other parts of Victoria, and there is currently a particular focus on other peri-urban areas, such as the Bellarine and Mornington peninsulas. As so many parts of our state are rich in both natural beauty and cultural heritage, the Greens strongly encourage the government to apply this level of planning protection to more of our state. I would particularly advise the Minister to consider declaring the Yarra Ranges a distinctive area where continued native forest logging has threatened the region's biodiversity and ecosystems. When the Minister declares an area of Victoria as a distinctive area and landscape, a statement of planning policy will be prepared for declared areas, which will set a framework for future development of the area. We hope that the statements of planning policy will set a new benchmark, benchmark for sustainable land use planning in Victoria. There is an opportunity here for us to set an example to the rest of Australia and show that it's possible to have appropriate sustainable planning and show that it's possible uh, while plan limit limiting the urban sprawl and integrating infrastructure, public transport, local services planning while protecting our heritage and environment. Unfortunately, there are already signs uh, that the worthy aims of the bill will not be reflected in the subsequent planning policies. In the Macedon region, uh, region, the first area to receive a localised planning statement, the community is increasingly concerned that the statement fails to give the ranges and surrounding towns the protection it needs. The local residents group um, has described the draft planning statement as an urban growth plan of epic proportions and say that the 2016 recommendations of the Macedon Ranges Protection Advisory Committee have not been addressed. The Greens firmly believe that local communities must have ongoing, substantive and meaningful participation in planning decisions. We know that this government has prioritised developers over the community before, handing developers prime pieces of real estate and huge profit margins at the expense of residents. The Macedon community has been passionately fighting to protect their region and their towns. And I urge the planning minister to listen to their concerns and work with the community to develop the final planning statement. We will be supporting this bill and look forward to seeing more of Victoria protected from the grasp of developers. However, we, uh, we will be watching the progress of the Macedon Ranges planning statement very closely. This is a real opportunity for Victoria to show the rest of the country how we can plan for growth while putting protection before profits. We strongly suggest the Minister listens to the Macedon Ranges community and works with them to ensure the region gets the protection it needs. Thank you.